We're delighted to welcome to the studio now the author Martina Cole because for Martina, I suppose you could say, crime really does pay, Certainly doesn't does. it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, she is one of the UK's most popular writers. Her books have topped bestseller lists for over 20 years now. Yeah, one of her books was turned into a gripping drama starring Hollywood hunk Tom Hardy, no less. And uh, her new book, this is her 22nd book, this is um, a hard-hitting tale of murder and revenge. Um, it's called Get Even. You like a bit of revenge and getting I even, do. don't it you? It comes from the old Essex saying, women don't get mad, we get even. So <laughs> this is about a woman who, um, she has two men in her life, both who, of whom have really big secrets. It's about living a lie, really. And through both her marriages, she finds out that she's been living a complete lie. I can't tell you what the secrets of her husband's no. are because I'll give the game away on the book. But suffice to say, she does get even. I mean, this is book 22, so where do you still get the inspiration for these stories? Is it talking to people? Is it based on real life events? No, or? I mean, I do talk to certain people who help me with sort of, you know, sort of the more grittier sides of the book. I've never actually murdered anybody myself. <laughs> I'm like, glad to hear I've that. I've never robbed a bank. Um, but I sort of, I come from that kind of world. I mean, Ryland would know that, he's over there, he'd know that too, because we come from, I think anyone in this country or Ireland or anywhere that comes from near a big council estate understands Mm. you know, the logic behind my book, and understand, you know, the workings of the criminal sort of criminal world. Yeah. So you moved in that criminal world for research. I still do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but only in a nice way. I mean, I've never ever felt threatened or anything like that, but I do understand that there probably are people who have. Martina, your, your, your story is fascinating when, is. You, when you look at your background and you were expelled from school. Now, you're expelled Twice. from school. <laughs> My wife always tells me, the first book I ever read or ever really no, remember... No, not ever read. Well, the first naughty book I ever read or heard Well, about. how many naughty books do you read? <laughs> right. Is that a few? This was I the find. first naughty book first she read. One. No, you said it was the first book I ever read was <laughs> Harold Robbins' The Carpet Carpetbaggers. I got expelled from a convent school. <laughs> it was fruity. Listen, my mum was Irish. My mum and dad were both Irish. My mum was from Dublin. My dad was from Cork. And I can remember my mum going, how the hell does the nun know what that book's about? Because <laughs> she was fuming. And I like to picture all the nuns sitting there reading Harold Robbins with a drink <laughs> and a cigarette. You know. And of course, those days, the nuns did smoke. No wonder you got expelled then. <laughs> I did, yeah. I got let, expelled twice. Let me ask you about your mum and dad. I know you lost them in quick succession. I lost them mm. just before I was 22. Yeah, yeah. eight months and, one day. And that oh. was also before this amazing success yeah. that, mm. that you had and this transformation in life to who you are and the it's life that you did. My lead biggest, now. biggest heartbreak, I think, is that my mum never saw my daughter. She never saw my daughter um, and she never saw my success. She never saw one book published. I um, mean, she was a real Dubliner as well, because my mum would never have said to me, oh, my God, I'm so proud of you, but she'd have been ringing the neighbour saying, did you see the series now was on TV? <laughs> you know, she was such a thick Dubliner. Do you, do you think your mum or dad yeah. would even, could even have believed these books were in you? I don't know. I think my dad would, yeah, my dad would have. I think my mum probably would have been, oh, my God, you know, they're about crime and everything like that. But then she would have just loved the whole concept of it. She was, she was a great mum. She was a lovely lady. When, when did you realise you had, let alone 22, but a book in you? When Did you write as a child? Or yeah. Did you, yeah. Never stopped writing. My dad was a merchant seaman, and if he'd come home for Christmas, because he used to be on the ACT boats and he used to be away for a long time, and he came home on Christmas, and I was three or four, coming up four. And he'd come back from South America, and he bought me this most beautiful... It was like a, a theatre. And when you opened the curtains, it was just full of books. Well, at the same time, my nanny Lachlan had come for the weekend, and she lived here for three living years. I mean, you're talking a strong <laughs> Irish woman here, you know? And she taught us all to read and write before we went to school. She taught us, you know, and the love of books, really. And I've always been a book fanatic, yeah. always. <laughs>